quite often light increases crime, I found in some places. Now, you may be thinking, just what is grade 8 student Grant Mansier talking about? How is it possible that light increases crime? Light also really helps the criminal. They can spot their target. They can, um, uh, the, the, if they're a graffiti artist, they'll know where their, if their area will be well lit to broadcast their art. And when they're done their dirty deeds, they have a well lit uh, escape route right out of the crime scene. But Grant's conclusion didn't come to him like flicking a switch. No, this science fair project was hours of work on Excel, compiling data given to him both from the Penticton and Summerland RCMP, comparing it to streets on Google Earth, along with some of his own data readings. So now I have an idea where my crime is, but now I need to know where my light is. Um, so I superimposed blue marble images onto maps. It's hard to imagine somebody in grade 8 taking a project on and spending this many hours on it and not, not just saying that's too much. I give up. I'm tired. I want to go ride my bike. But he just kept coming back to it and kept coming back to it. The idea for the project came after he heard the story of the violent death of hockey mum Julie Pascal. And media reports claimed the light may have prevented the crime. So Grant set out to find experiments that correlate light and crime. City of Chicago. They added lights to all their back alleys, and they found increased crime in every single one. So no matter which way you look at it, it comes down to the same point of where there is, more, where there is light, there is crime. The Summerland student took his project to a local science fair, then all the way to nationals where he received gold. But he also wanted to apply his theory at a practical level and presented his findings to the Penticton RCMP. You know, our experience is where the light is, is usually because there's a concentration of people, concentration of businesses, which is also a concentration of sources for uh, uh, targets for uh, criminals as well. Uh, you take a rural area, you're not going to have as much uh, uh, light, but you also aren't the biggest target or as many people there to have crime uh, either. However, Grant realizes people do feel safer with light and has a solution for light fixtures in the cities. So this is a semi-cut-off lighting fixture. It should be aimed on the ground. And then we'll, I'll be reducing crime, saving electricity costs if I was to dim the bulb, and um, uh, stopping sky glow. After winning gold, a scholarship, and many other prizes for his work, Grant hopes to take some time off before heading to the International Science Fair later this year. Jen Zielinski in Summerland for Castanet News.